when it happens. Because we have entered the map, everyone. So let's go ahead. Tenchi, take it away. Thank you, buddy. Our first player here in the top right, the purple Zag. It's going to be Rivatar. Can he swing things back here? Versus his opponent in the bottom left. It's going to be the green Zag. None other than B Lord. Yet again, not Brood Lord, but Blood Lord. Blood Lord. Uh, it it kind of reminds me of Guardians of the Galaxy with Star Lord, almost. Blood Lord, Star Lord. Uh, when when oh, I blow that one, I, 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 no, like I, I think about like I'd, I'd rather think about Warhammer, man. Like you oh, know? Warhammer. Oh yeah, yeah. like the space it, it, uh, Chaos Space Marines. Okay, if you so, ever yeah, were yeah, into that, like the Blood God, yeah, the Blood God, Blood Lord. I mean, I think there's probably a unit or, or something that they have called a Blood Lord. I mean, I'd, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Otherwise, you just make one. Well, so right now, Expedition lost here with a taste lope. Just chilling by <laughs> beneath the overlord. That's such a w weird. Like they have some, so, so, like really funny looking animals. I think the best one is the space shark by far. Yeah, well, everyone likes that taste elope. Uh, I don't know. The space shark just became a thing. I don't know. It's almost like an internet meme by this time. Like just just for Starcraft. Yeah, kind of. Kind the of. space shark. There are some maps that have it. Some don't. Don't think he's present here on this one. I think it was on Ohana, and I think it was... Uh, on Ohana, uh, Cloud Kingdom. Cloud Kingdom, yeah. Not on Daybreak, though. No, not on Daybreak. <laughs> Let's list all the maps he wasn't on. <laughs> Steps on yeah. War. Yeah, here we go, <laughs> man. So, guys, <laughs> yeah, guys in back, like, it's going to be 200 maps. <laughs> 200 different maps. But, yeah, it, it's a very standard opening. If you want more, you just jabbering about... Not too much is happening. Uh, no early gases whatsoever. Just standard 15 pull, 15 hatch. And most likely we'll just see... Uh, actually, 16 hatch. Sorry for that. Uh, but most likely we'll see the gas follow-up. Unless someone wants to go gasless. Of course, this is the opening you kind of want to go for. If you are to go gasless. Yeah, I mean, it's looking like it so far. We might just have a gasless versus gasless scenario. And... Oh, that'd be crazy. Yeah, you know, because there's a fairly interesting set of builds that you have... As I say that though, <laughs> gas, just to prove you wrong. Yeah, gas does go down because otherwise we would see the uh, five-minute double gas, I believe. Um, so it would still be a bit more time until we'd see any of those guys as taken. But no, these guys going right ahead, grabbing that, so they will be able to start heading in the direction of zergling speed, bailing nests, and you know maybe we see a super fast lair again from one of these players. Yeah, perhaps. Uh, we'll see though. I mean. Right now, we see Rivatar getting into the main base of B-Lord to scout that gas timing. And, uh, I don't know, he uh, he's going to know exactly when it was taken and that it was just after him. Tries to hide the links as well. Shouldn't get away with it though. And B-Lord, ready with his queen. Well, they're sort of staying there for now. B-Lord equally getting the full scout. So both of these guys keeping 100% tabs on each other. Nothing in the dark for now. So, Rivator starts his speed. Still three gas though, so that means that we're going to see him probably get that Baning Nest again and just go into something similar. It doesn't have to mean Muters, but it means that the opener and the kind of... Uh, like, like the way he wants to transition is still the same, but he can go into Roaches instead of Muters and stay on those three gas. Oh. And look at that. B-Lord cancelling that bailing nest and dropping down the Roach Warren. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, oh man, he's, this is a pretty sick fake. Rivata is going to go for that bailing nest, believing that, well, you know, the composition, speedling, bailing. Oh, no. Did you see that Overlord, like, flying away from the structures? Oh, man, Rivata doesn't want to be losing this to the Queen, so... And, and B-Lord knows this? Okay, so this is a very good opening. This, this is pretty much... This is going to be a build order advantage for B-Lord. It is, of course, going to come down to execution, make sure to not get himself surrounded. But still, you know, he starts oh, at no. plus one. So, going to have plus one range attack roaches versus speedlings and bailings. This is just about to get very scary the moment Rivatar realizes what he's actually up against here. And what's even more scary is that Rivatar is going for, like, a big speedling, maybe even banelings with it. Uh, kind of bust play, and the problem is if B-Lord 
f completely walls off. He's going to be completely safe. And now he sees the links. So now he needs to right away wall off, get that spine crawler. He's a bit too greedy though. This is kind of a hard counter. But now that he didn't actually get the spine crawler in back and a very late Evo, it's still very bustable. Yeah, here we go. The Spearling starts streaming it. He's keeping the Queen with the energy at the back. And already started to bring this evolution chamber fairly low. He's going to have to move her away there. But dropping two more structures here. Very good so far for B-Lord. He's buying a lot of time. It's two roaches in production. Just now we saw an additional uh, Overlord finish up in. The first two wow. roaches have come onto the field. Good transfuse. Still, B-Lord just playing it very patiently. He's going to be able to force these bailings away. So great reaction here from him. Yeah, and well... I think right now, holding like that and now getting these roaches, it's going to be so hard for Rivatar to kind of break through. But Rivatar knows this is a best of three, so he kind of has to uh, make something happen in this game, and he just wants to bust through once again. Doesn't even kill the Evos, though, and now it's just pure Ling trying to get through, and they are actually going to get in just here. Actually blocking a few extra seconds with a few Lings, but there we go. Now, now Rivatar can get in, and they're going yeah. to go for this round. Well, he's, whoa, attacking, he's actually attacking the rocks. Rivatar miscontrolling this quite heavily. And b -Lord not managing to get that Roach into the wall of still, though. Plus one is seconds away from finishing. And once that kicks in, well, that's going to be all she wrote. Because now, look at this. With this upgrade, completely annihilating these Uglings. And well, now, b -Lord way up in supply. He's even ahead a bit in workers. He's going to send these guys over for a counter track. And what can Rivatar do to stop this? Well, very little. He's right now trying to get his own Evo Chamber and Roach Ward to catch up in the uh, Roach Wars. But it's a bit too late. And now he's trying for this kind of guerrilla warfare where he's going to run past the Roaches most likely and try to counter attack. As I say that though, he's running straight into them. Not what you want to do. Maybe he's actually... Actually, I think Ravitar is at this point a bit terrified of the fact that he might just lose the game straight out and he just got a morph a ton of banings. It's know. like a sort of... This is the fight he can't take. Yeah, this, he can't take this fight. No, I mean, the surface area is good, but this upgrade on these roaches is just way too powerful. And he's going to come right into this natural. More units streaming across. Rhymata behind this, trying to go for that third hatchery, but no way that's going to get up. So that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, b -Lord takes the first series two to nothing there. Indeed, I think b -Lord just doing a really good job overall with uh, seeing what his opponent is trying, but